So, you've been told to complete a financial interest disclosure before being involved in a research project. And you're wondering what this process has to do with your research. Well, having a relationship or interest, whether financial, professional, personal, political, or something else, related to your research can create conflicts of interest. Financial interests related to research are common, and studies show that these conflicts can undermine everyone's ability to do accurate, objective research. It's important to identify when a conflict might exist so it can be managed to protect research integrity. This video will introduce you to research conflicts of interest so you can learn how to avoid real or perceived bias as you do your research and disseminate the results. Unfortunately, some people consciously choose to exploit conflicts of interest, for example, by lining their own pockets or otherwise benefiting themselves at the expense of their obligation to conduct research with integrity. Researchers may feel pressure to generate strong pilot data to secure funding or to publish in top-tier journals in order to earn tenure. This might tempt investigators to exaggerate their findings, even though this would obviously violate the university's code of ethics. Although most researchers won't intentionally do something wrong, some do. More commonly, without fully realizing what they are doing and why, researchers may unconsciously depart from best practices in order to advance their careers. Research shows that all people are influenced by the self-serving bias, which is the tendency to unconsciously gather, process, and even remember information in ways that serve our self-interest. A further complication is the fact that substantial percentages of academics who publish in scientific and medical journals have financial interests such as stock ownership, consulting contracts, intellectual property, and the like, that can be affected by their reported results. It is naturally difficult for researchers to avoid being influenced by their financial well-being in making research decisions. Similarly, while research funded by private industry increases research productivity and helps facilitate the transfer of new technologies and scientific discoveries to real-world applications, this funding can also create relationships rife with conflicts of interest. For example, in medical journal articles that he co-authored, Dr. Jose Baselga, a leading oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, repeatedly failed to fully disclose the extensive financial ties he had to pharma companies whose drugs he was testing. Not surprisingly, more than once Baselga was unjustifiably optimistic when reporting the results of his studies of drugs that were being developed by Roche, a company that paid him healthy consulting fees and more. Baselga was convinced he had done nothing materially wrong, but other scientists saw Baselga's failure to fully disclose his research conflicts of interest as disturbing and disappointing. Sloan Kettering forced his resignation in 2018. As an investigator, even if you do manage to avoid being influenced by your personal financial interests, you must keep in mind that simply the appearance of impropriety may undermine both your reputation and your university's reputation for honest research. Fortunately, the appearance of bias caused by financial or non-financial interests can be mitigated by practicing full and fair disclosure. Nonetheless, there may still be a justifiable concern about potential bias caused by such conflicting interests. For example, a study of 162 drug trials found that if the researchers had conflicts of interest, they were almost five times as likely to report positive results as compared to studies done by unconflicted researchers. It's unlikely that many of these investigators were consciously biased, but their self-interest clearly impacted their conclusions. Now, you may firmly believe that you are unaffected by conflicts of interest because the norms of scientific inquiry prevent you from doing anything other than pursuing the truth. But this common misperception is the overconfidence bias in action. Research shows that most people erroneously assume themselves to be moral, competent, and deserving, and therefore invulnerable to conflicts of interest. However, there is overwhelming empirical evidence that this is simply not the case. So, how should you handle conflicts of interest? First, be alert to their existence 
Do not stumble into conflicts unaware. Second, as noted, full disclosure is critical. Most universities, academic journals, and government funding agencies require disclosure of financial and sometimes non-financial conflicts of interest. Be careful to guard against moral licensing, which is the tendency everyone has to give themselves permission to be a little more self-serving in a certain situation if they've also acted ethically. In other words, researchers who have disclosed their financial interests may unconsciously give themselves permission to act in a more self-serving manner than those researchers who have not disclosed their financial conflicts. Also, be on the lookout for strategic exaggeration, which is the tendency of some researchers to overstate their actual findings in order to counteract any discounting of their credibility that might result from their disclosure of conflicts. Finally. Commit to openness and transparency in communicating potential conflicts to research collaborators, and be diligent in using robust methods and strategies to reduce the potential for research bias. Your university compliance office, and sometimes a conflict of interest committee, can help you comply with legal and ethical rules regarding financial and other conflicts of interest. If conflicts are properly managed, often you will not have to forfeit financial ties or other outside interests. The truth is that you are unlikely to totally avoid conflicts of interest in your research. They are normal and to be expected. But you can disclose and manage these conflicts to maintain integrity in your research and to protect your reputation and career.